It's what's cooking. Whew, what a crazy day today. We had a lot going on. So our company hosted, I actually have his name here for you to see. Nick, I'm going to bring this up to the screen. See his name right there? He's from the former Yugoslavia, which is where I'm from. Um, I'm guessing he might even be Croatian. Uh, Nick, listen, you can hear. Hang on. Oh, oh it's not playing. Darn it. Um, anyway, we had an amazing, amazing speaker today with our Coldwell Banker West. Um, company that was open to the public, everybody could sign on, and you can see it actually on Facebook Live. Um, the video is on there, so you can look at it. But what an inspiration. No arms, no legs, no problem. Born that way in Australia. He's an incredible, incredible human being that can do anything. He's married, has children, um, travels the world, and here was somebody that was um, born with like unconscionable, you can't even fathom having no arms, no legs. And his parents were like, hey, you gotta vacuum the floor, you gotta earn a living, you have gotta do what everybody else does. And he really overcame all of his, um, I hate to use that word, um, I hate the word disability, but he was able to overcome the ability to not have arms and legs and to become an amazing hero to many um, in the world. So. That was one of the things that happened today. And then I finished our luxury global accreditation today. So technically um, it's, I've already had the accreditation. I just renewed it. So we had um, the number one realtor in all of Coldwell Bank Banker worldwide um, spoke to us today. It was a really cool interactive panel of people from the top agent from Mexico, the top agent, um, from Colorado, just really cool people online um, teaching us today. So that was fun. Um, and what's cooking is cream of asparagus soup. I actually whipped this up the other day, so it's really yummy. Um, basically, roast your asparagus on a cookie sheet with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, from there, in your, in your pot, you want some onion, garlic, olive oil, either chicken or vegetable stock, depending on whether or not you're a vegetarian. Um, then you add the chopped up, already roasted asparagus, and then with your immersion blender, you blend that all up. If you're keto friendly like we are, we add cream cheese to that, blend that um, to the mix, a little crushed red pepper, black pepper, and then we add, um, we, as in, like Philip Fredrickson's help cooking. He's, he helps clean up and he's amazing at it and he does all the shopping, so thank God. Um, but then I add some nutmeg, but Chef Deborah Scott of the Cohen Restaurant Group that has Costera and Ventana and we can't wait for all those places to open Chef Deborah. she mentioned adding a little anisette to that um, asparagus bisque. So it's super easy to make and asparagus is really good right now. So I did that ahead of time. Um, the other day, thank, thankfully, because there was a lot of Zoom training today and meetings and client um, prepping, we have a new listing, 7871 Corte de Luz, um, located in the prestigious gated community of Santa Luz. That is going to go live on Friday or Saturday, and we're going to do virtual live open house. So I totally want you guys to join us um, in learning about this crazy property, plus supporting us as we do our virtual live open house. Um, I had already prepped a pork tenderloin and this one happens to have crushed rosemary from the garden, um, Trigger Joe's, uh, French mustard, garlic, olive oil, um, a little za'atar from Time of Essence in, uh, from the farmer's market, our friend uh, Akram, some lemon and a lot of olive oil. So we're gonna have that. This, tonight I'm gonna to actually cook it in the oven as opposed to on the grill. Last night I grilled the Asian kind of version of that that had the plum, um, hoisan, fish, fish sauce, um, chilies. That one was a little bit sweeter and that one I did on the grill. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I have all these heirloom um, little tomatoes. So I'm gonna slice them up. They're going in the olive oil in here. And then to that, I'm gonna add 
this amazing um, Lumi green, awesome, look how pretty that is, sauce. I'm gonna drizzle it over the top. And remember that the um, People Chef, Chef James came to the house a couple weeks ago and brought us this curated box of very safely um, delivered items from the gas lamp of the RMD restaurant group. And they're opening the Huntress, uh, they have many awesome places downtown, including on the top floor of the Huntress, which will be in the gas lamp, is the Japanese restaurant called Lumi. And Lumi um, made this great sauce. And to that, I'm gonna add some goat cheese and some buffalo mozzarella. I'm gonna bake it in the oven. So I think it'll be a really good side dish that'll accompany the pork tenderloin. Um, so we'll have asparagus soup, the tomato, cheesy, yummy, um, side dish as well as the pork tenderloin and then yesterday our neighbor Jan um, safely like she has a little table set up outside her door she had made this Mediterranean sweet potato chickpea dish which was so good and she whipped up hummus and added lemon juice and dill and kind of whipped it so you roast the egg uh, the uh, sweet potatoes have them and then you roast the um, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whatever you call them, um, in the pan. And then to that, I think there might have been some cumin in there because it was really Mediterranean and yummy. And to that, after it comes out of the oven, she puts this whipped kind of hummus on top. So she um, had that waiting for us. And then we brought her over the um, loquat chutney, which is pretty good. Um, that I made yesterday, and then um, pork tenderloin, the different version of pork tenderloin. So that's what's cooking here. Tomorrow, I'm doing a chicken with the loquats. So we'll figure it out as we go and pick some fresh loquats off the tree, and hopefully our friend Jean Karam, who loves loquats, will make his way safely um, to our backyard without us out there and pick some loquats because they're really popping. The trees look really good and we don't want them to go to waste. Last year they did not fruit, so we're really stoked that this year they did. So we hope that everybody's feeling um, feeling okay out there, you know, keeping safe and keeping healthy. We know that this is not easy. Um, some states are opening up and some states are getting to you know, be more interactive with people. We're, we're not still in um, California, but even so, if you are, please, please make sure you're being safe. Um, you know, face masks, masks are required starting on Friday, even though they still should be required. Um, keep in mind that our local fishermen in San Diego, our produce places, specialty produce, everyone has great, great, um, deals for you on sushi quality seafood that typically would be sold at a restaurant or to a restaurant. And tomorrow at 5.30, um, Kitchens for Good is doing a virtual dinner party complete with craft cocktails and Urban Wood and top chef Brian Malarkey is the chef. So you can literally log on to Kitchens for Good tomorrow Facebook Live um, and there's also a Zoom connection, and you'll get to see these guys and Chef um, Brian like literally cooking for us. I think he's making some kind of Asian spring rolls, which, which sound really delicious. And I think if Robin Borelli is watching right now, I am begging Robin to have her husband, Michael, who owns Borelli Design Studio that does kitchen cabinetry and custom woodworking, custom built-ins, just top-notch, located on Park Boulevard and University Heights. He's Italian and he's from upstate New York and I'm, my family is from Buffalo and I lived in Buffalo so long that I think I'm from Buffalo. Um, but anyway, I want him to teach me how to make carbonara uh, one night. So that would be really fun. And also it's Robin Borelli's birthday today. So everybody wish Robin a very happy birthday. Um, she is a realtor in our company and a dear friend and I love her and her grandson Dustin um, is a property manager and a, an artist, actor, singer, dancer. He's phenomenal. He's multi multifaceted and what he does. So um, lots of shout outs to lots of people, but Kitchens for Good, 5.30 tomorrow. You totally have to sign in. Um, it's complimentary. Of course, they wouldn't mind a donation because 
as of like a couple weeks ago when we did this, they had fed over 7,000 people through the San Diego Food Bank. So that's huge and awesome. And we're gonna be announcing something really cool that our company is doing and this, the Coldwell Banker West Foundation um, to help San Diegans. And we're really excited to um, let you know what that's gonna be. It's really big, it's big, huge, and so cool. Um, local musicians, um, near and far, everybody's live streaming. When you, when you find um, a local musician live streaming, remember they're not making any money, so think about Venmoing them or PayPaling them something, because at this point in time, they need our love, they need our help, they need our support. And uh, as we say, we're all in the same storm, but we're not in the same boat. So if you can do anything to help others, it's super important to do that. And I'm gonna join Philip Fredrickson and Mackenzie, our little real estate assistant, and the Chicky Chews out in the backyard for a little um, decompressing, because I feel like I've been on a lot of Zooms and my brain's about to explode with all the stuff that we've learned today. Um, so please stay physically distant while staying socially connected virtually, all right? And we'll see you tomorrow for some type of, well, actually, I'm not sure. I might pop on to remind you to tune into Kitchens for Good tomorrow at 5.30 because I think we should all um, experience a virtual dinner party, learn how to make craft cocktails together. And if you Google Kitchens for Good right now, I guarantee you the recipe for the craft cocktail is already um, online as well as what Chef Brian Malarkey from Urban Wood, Urban Sea, Anime Down in the Gas Lamp, Christopher Puffer, Christopher Puffer is a genius and they're partners together um, in the entire restaurant business. So uh, we can't wait to be able to go to their restaurants again and support them. Um, Wrench and Rodent, as of Thursday, um, curbside delivery until Sunday. The Plot, curbside delivery, Blade 1936 in Oceanside, Chicha, Piazza 1909, um, Candor, Chef Giuseppe, all these chefs. Um, we have here in Escondido, uh, BAPS, which has been giving and giving and giving to the community and doing like surprise pop buys to the fire department, the police station, um, Trader Joe's, Major Market, and also doing um, meal preparation and delivery. So lots of people to give love to. See ya.